In this video, we're going to explore in greater detail the Series 2 WS from the Clear Coat Gun. We're going to explore that six years of development. We're going to explore the out the box experience and we're going to focus and explore in greater detail its improvement of application. The Series 2 is a completely new ground up re engineered spray gun that has taken a six year journey. Six years of traveling the globe, six years of trying to understand all the different climates and conditions and trying to understand what is required for the next generation of spray equipment. Six years ago, we went back to Pinifarina to start with the basics, the balance, the feel and the ergonomics. Keeping the gun in the same family as the Series 1. Slight modifications of its looks, but subtle modifications. Changing all the internal workings, re-engineering all the internals, making the passages, the airflow and the balance even better, even more concise and even greater than before. The split nozzle technology works in a different way to flat nozzle technology. Is the air is distributed round or outside of the nozzle and when it gets to the slots it's forced into the paint stream. This means that the paint is already being pre-atomized. This also means that we're controlling the size of the droplet and getting more of a consistent shape and size. So by the time it gets to the air cap, the air cap atomizes it for a second time. This means we atomize it twice. This means we can control pattern size, the shape, the width, how full it is, how soft it is, and how controlled the droplets are. On the Series 2, the air caps have also been modified and worked on extensively. With the Series 2 air caps, when it comes to compliancy, we have now split the air caps into two different divisions. One is for base coat and one is for clear coat. In the past, the Series 1 had one air cap, the 01 air cap. This had to do both jobs, base and clear. But in development, we realized that when you're trying to get the air cap right for base coat, this would affect the performance of clear coat. And the same when you try to get clear coat right, this would affect base coat. So the decision was made to split them, completely separate them. So now, for example, for clear coat, you have a specialized air cap for just clear coat. This means now we can control the balance, we can control the shape, the width, the softness, the atomization, and the general overall application and performance. This is another massive step forward for Series 2 and its ability to apply all the latest materials on the market. On the Series 1, the air valve seat set, when it was changed, tended to be fitted incorrectly. On the Series 2, we've changed this, we've modified this, we've made this better. On the Series 2, the air valve seat set has a stop system. When you screw it in, you can't over tighten it, it stops. But where it stops means that the slits, the holes are always in line. This means that you get the correct airflow through the gun every time you pull the trigger. Also as well, we've increased the slots, the holes to increase the airflow. This helps with the balance, but it also helps with the performance and also helps us to control the atomization. This means that the Series 2 is more balanced and the performance is greater in every way. As the air is introduced into the centre of the paint stream, you can see how the atomization and the droplet is very fine and consistent. As the air is moved into the splits and serrations, this helps us to control the atomization, control the droplet, and also control the dispersal of those droplets. We can control how close or far apart they are, we can control the size, and we can also control how wet they are. This means you're getting a true balance of airflow and an injection of air into the splits as we pull the trigger. This section shows, it shows how full the pattern is when using split nozzle technology. This is as said before is because we can balance the droplet and the atomization because of the splits and how we introduce the air into the jet stream of paint. This means that we can control how wet from top to bottom that pattern is and where we physically put the material in that pattern. This means we can get the fullness, the wetness and the softness exactly how we want it to be. If you look at an example of a competitor's spray gun on the market, a flat nozzle technology competitor, you can see that the material is very center wet. You can see how it's coming out of the center of the pattern. So even though you think you've got a huge pattern, actually where the material is actually distributed is in the center. This means from an application point of view, it's very critical where you get your overlap. If you don't quite get that overlap quite right, you get dryness. If you get the overlap too much, it becomes too wet. It's very inconsistent. As you can see in this instance, we've actually colored the pattern so you can see how it hits the panel. As you can see, the pattern is evenly distributed from top to bottom. 
This means the material is hitting the panel evenly and not centre wet as you find with some flat nozzle technology. Again we've coloured the spray pattern just to show you another instance in real time painting the panel. As you can see as you work up the panel with the clear coat that pattern is really even and consistent. It also means as you overlap it means every time you overlap if it's not quite right or a little bit inconsistent the gun will continue to work for you. Another point with series 2 is when you're painting vertical panels such as this large door. As you're working your way down the panel, series 2, because the material is evenly spread across the pattern all the way from top to bottom and the softness of the edges, it means the application is easier and softer, but it also means there's less chance of runs and sags because the material is evenly spread across the pattern. With a flat nozzle technology which is very centre wet, because we said because if you don't quite get the overlap right, it could be dry but it also could be overload. You've got more chance of orange peel and you've got more chance of runs and sags because you're putting so much material in one place. With series 2 as I said you don't get that problem because the material is so evenly spread and the combination of the atomization and the balance of the droplets is so much more consistent it means the application is so much more effortless and also right first time again every time. When spraying horizontal panels again this comes into its own the Series 2 is so even and consistent with the pattern going across that panel. It means that from an application point of view, if using again a flat nozzle technology which is very centre wet, this means it increases chances of getting overload, too much material, with getting them boil and popping because you've delivered too much material on that panel in one area. With Series 2 again, this reduces the problem, this reduces the risk of these issues because the pattern is so flat so even and so well distributed. It truly is effortless when spraying. With the new development of the Series 2 air cap for clear coat and being able to develop an air cap separately from the base coat cap, we've now also been able to revisit and re-engineer the nozzle range for clear coat. In the range you still have the 1.2, the 1.3, the 1.4 and the 1.5, but these now have been modified and re-engineered for the different climates and conditions wherever they're being used around the world. It means these nozzles and needles now and the patterns that they produce are wider, fuller, softer at the top but also very consistent flat patterns. This gives you a wide option of different nozzle configurations depending on what material you're using, what viscosity you're using and as I said what condition you're trying to spray in. With Series 2 now we have what's called an out of the box experience. In the past with Series 1 we had a lot of comments and remarks from people that used to say you used to have to fine tune the pattern. Whether that was one turns, two turns or three turns in, people had to fine tune the pattern to get the right application. Series 2 now is an out the box experience. This means once you get it out the box you open everything up fully and then application at the pressure, desired pressure that's been recommended. This means now that we've fine tuned the spray patterns, we've made them the acceptable size, but also as well in all the different conditions, it means the patterns are now readjusted to give you a wider window application depending where you're actually trying to spray. Whether it's hot and dry or hot and humid conditions, the patterns are now adapted to give you a greater window of application. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a textbook atomization test. This is to show us the size of the droplet, the consistency of the size of the droplet and also the distance between the droplets. So a very textbook application. We come off to a certain distance, nice easy application and this shows you the droplets sitting on the paper. So if we take a look at the atomization, the difference between split nozzle technology and flat nozzle technology, we can see a huge difference in the droplet, how it atomizes, how it breaks it up. Split nozzle technology with the pre-atomization, we can control the size of the droplet, how physically small it is, how close together, how far apart, whatever we want to do. This is split nozzle technology 2.0. When we look at a, another competitor in the market which has got flat nozzle technology, you can see a huge difference in the difference between the, 
the atomization and the droplet sizes. You can see in here you have what looks like a gun spit. It isn't actually a gun spit, it's unatomized paint. It hasn't atomized it enough. So it sits there looking like a, like a lump of paint, a spit. But what happens with this is, on the actual job that you've sprayed, it sits there holding something. Inside it's got air, water or solvent actually holding in the droplet. This means eventually it has to escape. So when you put it on bake or you introduce heat, it can escape and pop through the base coat or through the clear coat surface, causing issues and problems with the surface and the actual overall appearance. It can also help with giving, especially on clear coat application, that peel, that structure, it gives that texture, that structure to the surface because it's unatomized. With split nozzle technology, as you can see how uniform it is in the physical shape and size of the atomization is exactly the same all the way across that panel it gives you a far, far better application, far better lay down, and it doesn't give you any issues when you pop in or boil or anything trying to escape. This is pre atomization 2.0 split nozzle technology. Far superior, and with the, with the second generation, the Series 2, even greater balance than before, than Series 1. So, again, as we say, as a ground up new development of the spray gun, we've introduced even better balanced atomization than before. And as you can see, a huge difference between the two kinds of technology that are being used out in the market today. As you can see from this rendered view of a droplet, in that droplet it's holding something, it's holding air or water or solvent. Once you put it under heat, it tries to get out, it tries to escape. And this causes you the popping problems on the surface. Okay, so we've sprayed out two spray patterns here. We sprayed them the opposite way around, so the cap is facing the other way, so you get the pattern going that way, not that way. What this does, it shows you where the material is in the pattern. Gravity takes hold and starts to show where the concentration of the paint is and then you get the running situation. This is a, another uh, make of spray gun on the market, a very popular make of spray gun with the flat nozzle technology. As you can see, it's starting to sag very much in the middle, which means the material is concentrating in the center of that pattern. One that means is that you've got to get your overlaps absolutely right when working with this. If you don't quite get them right and they're not enough of an overlap, you get dryness and inconsistencies. If you overlap too much, then you get too wetness, you can get overload, you can get thickness, peel, and also maybe a bit of boil from baking. With the Series 2 1.3 HD, nice flat pattern. Again, spread out exactly the same but this is running evenly across the pattern from one end to the other. This means it's not center wet anywhere. This also means from an application point of view, if you don't quite get the overlap quite right, you'll, your overlap will continue to work for you. If it's not enough, the back of the pattern will keep on working for you and filling in those imperfections. And also as well, from a lay down point of view, it's nice and even all the way across the pattern. So a big difference between these two, but this is due to the split nozzle technology, the new 2.0 technology. It breaks it up in a different way. The atomization is more consistent. Where we put the material in the pattern is more consistently across that pattern. So a big, big difference between the two, between the new Series 2 and another maker spray gun in the market, which as I said, is very, very center wet. Still, no running happening here across that pattern nice and wet but nice and evenly are wet all the way across the pattern the distances were the same 150 distance when you're doing your pattern test it's an impact test you get into the distance you're naturally going to spray you spray it you fill the fan, the fan pattern and then back off that gives you the definition of the pattern so same way don't do a fluffy mess which is out here somewhere this big horrible mess it doesn't give you anything, it doesn't show you anything. An impact test is where you spray out naturally, fill it with material and then back off. And it shows you the definition of the pattern. So again, Series 2, 1.3 HD clear coat. It shows how even it is for the application of all modern day clear coats on the market. As you can see in this example, you can see with the center wet flat nozzle technology application, and gravity pulling the center of the pattern down. In a matter of seconds, you can see how center wet it is and where the material starts to run in the center. This shows you how much material is focused in one area 
at this application. With the split nozzle technology 2.0, as you see, as the seconds run by, there is no center wetner, there's no running in the middle. This shows how even the pattern and how even the distribution of the material is across that pattern. So even after 40 seconds, there is no center wetness, meaning there's no running in the center. So from an application point of view, again, this makes the application so much evener and so much more effortless. So in today's video, we've explored how the Series 2 has improved over the Series 1, what changes we've made to the gun, what improvements we've made to the gun. We've also explored the split nozzle technology in, in greater detail. We've also looked at how the split nozzle 2.0 was improved. We've looked at how atomization differs from a standard splat nozzle technology, which is in the market, and how this helps with the application of uh, products such as clear coats. So I hope today you've learned something more about the Series 2 and the improvements that we've made, and we hope to see you again in the future on our Anisty Water Refinish YouTube channel. Active with newest technology, Anist Iwata.